Hello, my name is Charlie Hayton and this is my classic monologue. It is from Richard II by William Shakespeare and I am playing the part of Bolingbroke. As I was banished, I was banished Hereford. But as I come, I come for Lancaster. And noble uncle, I beseech your grace, look upon my wrongs with an indifferent eye. You are my father, for methinks in you I see old Gaunt alive. Oh then, my father, will you permit that I shall stand condemned, a wandering vagabond, my rights and royalties plucked from my arms perforce and given away to upstart unthrifts? Wherefore was I born? If that my cousin king be king of England, it must be granted I am Duke of Lancaster. You have a son, or Merle, my noble cousin. Had you first died and he been thus trod down, he should have found his uncle called a father, to rouse his wrongs and chase them to the bay. I am denied to sue my livery here, and yet my letters patents give me leave. My father's goods are all distrained and sold, and these and all are all the misemployed. What would you have me do? I am a subject, and I challenge law. Attorneys are denied me, and therefore, personally, I lay my claim to my inheritance of free descent. This is my contemporary monologue. It is from About a Goth by Tom Wells, and I am playing the part of Nick. Breakfast is depressing as usual. All I want is to read my Camus and eat my Cocoa Pops, but it is so hard to concentrate with Dad's armour clanking and Mum clattering around with her tankards in the sink. And they always want to talk to me. Good day, young squire, Mum says. Dad leans over and kisses me on the top of the head and goes back to jousting with a Swiss roll. Honestly, it's tragic. Other people's parents lie, cheat, have inner turmoil, chuck teapots at each other. I get the world's most cheerful medieval reenactors. Mum leans over dangles her fluted sleeve in my chocolatey milk and passes me a postcard. It's got a donkey on the front looking jaunty. Camping is amazing! Three exclamation marks. Weather perfect to further two exclamation marks. Drop my phone off a cliff to prove it was shatterproof. It's not! Brilliant. Underlined. Bet you're missing me. You're spelt wrong. You be gay. <laughs> no comment. Greg. And a kiss. This is my song. It's called Orange Coloured Sky by Nat King Cole. I was walking along, minding my business, when out of an orange coloured sky, flash, bam, alakazam, wonderful you came by. I was humming a tune, drinking in sunshine, when out of that orange coloured view, flash, Bam, Alakazam, I got a look at you. One look and I yell, Timber, watch out for flying glass. Cause the ceiling fell in and the bottom fell out. I went into a spin and I started to shout. I've been hit. This is it. This is it. I T it. I was walking along, minding my business, when love came and hit me in the eye. Flash. 
Malakazam out of an orange colored sky. One look and I yell timber. Watch out for flying glass. Cause the ceiling fell in and the bottom fell out. I went into a spin and I started to shout. I've been hit. This is it. This is it. I T it. I was walking along, minding my business. When love came and hit me in the eye. Flash. Bam, alakazam, out of an orange color, purple stripe, pretty green polka dot sky. Flash, a bam, alakazam, and goodbye. This is my device piece inspired by Wooden Bridge. I pay my dues and finally depart. After all, this is the last resting place of my heart. Not buried, but on a pile. For all to see. All because someone was bitten by a flea. A flea? That's right. Or at least that's what I've heard. The new doctor in town has asked us not to spread the word. But quite frankly, I think that's totally absurd. That because of a flea, all this occurred. Didn't you hear? Hear about what? That the old bridge's foundations are starting to rot. Some say the work of rodents, giant rats or moles. Others say the wrath of gods, or maybe even trolls. And then one day the sky turned red, or maybe it was just the early morning sun. The holy men's flock have finally fled, and now the children can't have any fun. Tape ends.